All right. Thank you for joining me on another another episode of Health Coach for Women. Today, I have a lovely guest here who is also in the same work as lined up with myself. And uh, she will be discussing with us on a topic that many of you would be interested in, in learning about today. I want to welcome you to the founder of International Chronic Pain Institute, Ms. Deborah Wayne. Thank you to, to the show. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. I am so excited to be with you and to meet your certainly. wonderful community. Certainly, certainly. Now, first, I did read your bio and I noticed that from what you were saying in your bio that you have been, you were stuck struggling with chronic pain for many years. Yeah. Um, can you go into, tell us a little bit about that. I, I, you know, it's that's something that a lot of people go through. Tell us about that and how you got started and, you know, on your journey to wellness and how you went up and uh, developed and created your own foundation. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I never expected to be doing this work and it does come as the result of my health just going down, down, down the tubes. And I'll take you back to the pivotal moment. It was over 30 years ago now, but I woke up on a regular Monday morning. I get up, get dressed, go to work Monday morning, but I found myself lying on the floor of my big, beautiful closet and I could not stop crying. I could not get dressed. I could not fake it till you make it one more day. And I was in pain from head to toe and I was depressed and I was angry and I was anxious, but I, you know, my pain made no sense. And I had been going for years to different doctors, trying to figure out what was going on. Either nothing showed up on a medical test or they would say, oh, Deborah, you're just stressed. You need a vacation. And they would say, take this or try this pill or whatever. And, you know, I was taking a pill for everything and nothing was getting healed. I was just a mess. And I kept thinking, oh, somehow it's just going to magically go away. Well, it doesn't magically go away. And mm -hmm. I lived for so mm -hmm. long with my just feeling terrible about myself, my life. But you wouldn't have known that from the outside looking in. It looked like I had everything. I had a great career, a great home, a husband, a house, brand new BMW in the garage. But mm -hmm. Marsha, internally, I was just bankrupt. And that day I just couldn't take it anymore and I was tired of pretending everything was fine when it wasn't and I just finally said uncle and I literally screamed out at the ceiling of that closet and I said if there's a god I need help and I didn't even mm -hmm. really believe in god at the time but I had a life-changing experience that I'll never forget and it changed everything and I screamed out and something heard me and I all of a sudden felt this peace come over me and I I felt like I was going to be okay mm. and I stopped crying and I got up and I went in the other room and I picked up the phone and I called a professional and I said I need to talk to you and tell you what's going on with me and I started to just talk about more than just the physical symptoms and I told the truth about my emotions, my mental state, the things in my life that I was pretending that I was okay with, that I wasn't. And I started to discover that I had some work to do. And I began to unpack and unlearn and relearn. And uh, like I said, I didn't expect it, but that day that I thought was the worst day of my life turned out to be the crossroads because I took action, I was became willing to do whatever it took. And I started taking new action in a new direction. And I made a lot of changes in my life. And consequently, my health started to come back on track. And my energy started to come mm -hmm. back. And I discovered the real Deborah that was being hidden underneath, right? And I ended up going back to school. I had quite a lot of experiences from meditation that really blew my mind and started to reveal to me that everything, everything, including the physical body is made of energy. And if we don't deal with our energy, right. we have nothing. Right. And there right. you have it. And, you know, it, it's been a long journey since and much has happened that's enabled me to help tens of thousands of people now around the world and over 160 countries. Never would have dreamed it, never had it on my goal list, never thought it was even possible. But it's all the result of finally telling the truth 
getting out of my way and starting to look at health from a completely new perspective. Yes, definitely. And, and, you know, and that's, that's one of the things that, you know, that people go through and experience, or actually myself included, yeah. um, actually going through that process of that healing process, Yes. Uh, whether it was from pain or other uh, emotional issues of depression, uh, hormonal issues, uh, right? And any other things that you may have had, a person may have experienced. Um, but, you know, what, what was interesting is that you, after you released that, and, and the key word, what I heard you say was to tell the truth, right? And then sometimes yeah. people are not willing to tell the truth. Not that you're telling it to anyone, but just right. to even to tell it to yourself. Because yes. you don't, sometimes you don't want to face the truth about what you're either yourself, what you're experiencing, what's exactly. happening, because you feel like, wait a minute, I'm, this is supposed to be, I'm supposed to be, uh, I got it all together. I have it all together, but it's okay to not be okay. And to be open oh, I and love that. Hear that is, yeah, it's okay to not be okay. Yeah, and when you I, can really yeah. be honest with yourself. Right. That is the first. That is the first process it is. of healing. That is the Absolutely. first process of healing. It's just being honest with yourself and who who you are and what you're in experience and connecting with those emotions. We all have them. We all well, have. Them. You, you've really hit the nail on the head. I grew up where you just don't tell your dirty laundry to anybody. If if you don't have anything good to say, you say nothing. Right. And so what I learned to do is I stuffed and I stuffed mm -hmm. and I stuffed. And I stuffed and I did it for years and eventually it blew up because right. I wasn't being honest. And I followed the formula that I was taught. If you do this and then this and then this, you're going to be happy. Oh my God. So I felt like a huge failure because I followed that formula. I did it all right. Yeah. And I was miserable and I, I just didn't know what to do. And then I was embarrassed and ashamed and like, what's wrong with me? Why does everybody else, you know, have their act together? And even though it looked like I did, I wasn't feeling it. So I love what you just said. The key right. for me was telling the truth, the telling God's the truth. honest, 100% truth. And, and also what you said, not to just anybody. It had mm -hmm. to be somebody who wasn't going to judge me and right. who had some skills to help me get out of where I was and into a new way of thinking and feeling and being. Exactly, exactly. And then when you talked about pain, now what was some of the pain? Was it physical pain? Was it any physical pain that you experienced? Yes, I had I had oh, a list of symptoms. My hair was falling out. I had ulcers. I had thyroid issues. I couldn't eat anything without a stomach ache. I had headaches. I could not sleep without drinking enough wine till I passed out. Oh. I had no energy. So I drank pots of espresso during the day. And then I took sleeping pills at night. I mean, it was crazy. Oh I also was God. filled with anxiety and depression, I flipped back and forth. I was either depressed or anxious, depressed or anxious. I never felt calm inside. I would have given anything for a moment of inner peace. Wow. I just didn't have that experience. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. And you know, and another thing that I heard you say, you know, you cried, you let it all out, and then you just felt like something just released. Yep. and just released at that moment yep. and felt that inner peace, you know, and I know I've experienced that before too. It's like, you just felt like this release and yeah. you feel like everything is going to be okay. Yeah. Just like you said, it's going to be okay. And another thing that I heard you mention is about energy, right? And another people, sometimes people don't want to look at certain things and we are energy. We, we are energy. It's because we are electrical, right? And yes, so electrical exactly. provides a current, right? It's just like when you took, when you're putting on your clothes and you, that electric shock, oh, you shocked me, you know, right? There's your proof right there. It's electrical. Yes. It's it, which is a form of energy. We all, we all have that energy. And when your energy is out of whack, it yes. can definitely play a part in your whole wellness. So talk to us about energy and how it impacts yeah. your health. See, this is the missing key. And 
um, it, it, people think it's out of the box. No, it is so yeah. practical. We are, like you said, we are literally electrical beings. And we know mm -hmm. that, like, think about a magnet. Two magnets have a force between them. We are living in a big force field and we are being affected our own physical energy our mental energy our emotional energy it's being affected by everything and everyone but if we're not aware of that we're being affected unconsciously and we can be zapped and we can be exhausted and we can be down we can have literally our nervous system our immune system affected mm -hmm. by this if we aren't aware of what's going on and they're not teaching us this. Right. When there's right. health issues, they look at where does it hurt? And they look at the physical body only, but the energy field, which mm -hmm. surrounds the body, is the key to everything. We're living mm -hmm. in a gigantic ocean of energy and we're constantly yeah. interacting with other people's energy fields. And we are resonating, it's all based on physics. It's not something I made up. It's based mm -hmm. on physics. It's based on resonance. Mm -hmm. And we're either in harmony, we're in alignment, or we're out of alignment. And when we are literally living by what we've learned and been programmed as a child to right. do and to think and to believe, we can be way out of alignment with what's right for us. Mm -hmm because we're not living according to how we feel. Right. And when we listen to how we feel, we are much more accurate and have a much better chance of actually being on the right life path. But see, I turned that off because mm -hmm. I was taught, mm -hmm. do the right thing, do the logical thing, be analytical, don't listen to your heart, right? And that's- You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> So our energy is affected primarily by how we feel. Of mm -hmm. course, what we think is influencing it, but how we feel is the key to what's best for us. When we feel excited, alive, energized, mm -hmm. curious, joyful, peaceful, these are the clues that we're on the right track. When we feel exhausted and drained and constricted and tight and tense, I don't care how logical it is. I don't care who tells you to follow that. If that's how you feel, it is a mm -hmm. big red flag. I know you get it. Definitely. Definitely. And you hit the nail right on the head with that. It's just like perfect examples. And sometimes, you know, you want to make a decision on something. Yes. Your first intuition, your first yes. thought that comes to your mind, and we don't follow it. We're like, eh, but because we are thinking, trying to think logically instead of going with that first thought, that th first feeling that you get and we don't follow it. And then, then we go back and say, I know I should have listened. I know I should have listened to my first mind, right? Or my first thought. Exactly, you know? right? Everyone. And oh, another example is when you walk into that a experience room. where you say, oh my God, I knew I should have mm -hmm. done that. Or I knew I shouldn't have done that. Yes. That's, That's when right. you're not listening right. to your intuition. And it's the guiding post. Mm -hmm. It's our inner GPS. We're all born yes. with this. But we yes. get so in the head, in the intellect, and we rely so heavily on really what is just nothing but conditioning. And mm -hmm. that can be the root of severe chronic yes. pain, depression, anxiety, diseases of all types. Exactly. And we're seeing it now, right? We're seeing it now where we're so where where negativity, as soon as we turn on the TV, yes. it's nothing but negativity. Yes. And we a lot of people consume it and continuously to oh. listen to it and listen to it right. instead of just turning it off, you know, and 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 saying, okay, that's enough. I think I've heard enough. And because what happens is the more you listen to it, the more you become programmed and conditioned. Exactly to what is being put out that you're listening to. So Absolutely. the more negativity that you keep listening to, you're yeah. absorbing that type of energy. You're absorbing Absolutely. that, you know? And some people just don't really get it. 
But I mean, no, they don't. And they wonder why they're sick all the time or exhausted or depressed. They don't understand that they're feeding that very problem that they're trying to get rid of and that we're much more powerful than we've been taught. And if we can examine the thoughts and the emotions, and like you're saying, the information that we're taking in every single day, this is the key to our health. So we Mm -hmm, have to take mm -hmm. a new type of responsibility, not blame, but responsibility for what we're allowing in on a daily moment by moment basis. That is so true. That is so true. And so now tell me now how you use the energy and in your work and what you're doing. Uh, Share us a little bit about that and tell us what you do with the sparse energy. So I discovered that I was very, very sensitive to energy and to people's moods, people's emotional states, to my own, to all the things going on around me. And I thought in the beginning, I thought that was a problem. It turned out to be my greatest skill. Mm -hmm. And what I've done over the years is become very, very skilled at being able to literally feel into and scan a person's energy field. And I can literally feel like I'm touching something where Mm -hmm. there are disturbances in that energy field. And think of it like music. Our energy field is recording everything we've ever experienced, everything, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Well, if we don't know how to release the disturbances, they get stuck on us like lint and we build it up, build it up, build it up so we can't take it anymore and it turns into some form of disease. So I became very skilled at being able to scan and find where these disturbances are and I bring in just like harmonious music. I bring in waves of energy that are coherent waves, they call it in physics. This is like turning on music that's soothing to your soul. And some people actually hear sounds, other people just start to feel the stress come off. And I'm able to help people even virtually all over the world to start to harmonize their energy field. They do nothing. They literally, it's the most relaxing way to heal possible. They just sit down or lie down. I work in the field, just scanning it like an MRI would. And I can find where the disturbances are, change the vibration. And there's a communication that takes place via this field that literally Mm -hmm. talks to the cells of the body. And it affects the mind, the emotions, and the body. And so people, even with decades of chronic pain, of depression, anxiety, of other types of diseases, insomnia, for example, headaches is another big one, digestive issues, Mm -hmm. people start to change often like that, because it's not about logic. It's not necessarily anything I'm telling them to do. I'm literally working at the energy level and it's like tuning an instrument that got out of tune. Think of a guitar. If you, if you get the new string or tune it to the right note, to the right frequency, mm-hmm. the instrument mm-hmm. plays beautifully again. And that's what we're seeing when I work in the energy field. Same concept. I, I totally understand what you're saying. So now with, with your work doing yeah. that, would you, is there any type of, you know, because there are many people who's like, mm, I'm a skeptic. I don't know if right. that really works. And if that should, is there any scientific evidence, scientific proof um, that shows that that could actually, where you can actually see yeah. the energy where you can actually see it. And, and it shows like patterns of waves and things where that, that this actually does work. There is actually a lot of science, and this is what people don't realize. This is not something I just made up. Mm -hmm. There's an entire body of work now called biofield science. There's very sophisticated equipment that comes out of Japan and Russia that measures the energy field. It takes a photograph, and it can show what is changing before, during, and after I work on people. And I've gone into a science research lab with several different clients over the years. Oh my goodness, what we have seen, and yes, there's graphs and you can find this on my website. There Mm -hmm. is actual literal photos and measurements that show a six times 
decrease in pain and symptoms and an increase in the person's energy starting right away in the very first session in less than an hour. And so, yes, even with people who have had decades of things mm -hmm. like fibromyalgia, arthritis pain, insomnia, depression, anxiety, we see this literally disappearing. And I know mm -hmm. it can sound too good to be true because it's not what you find at your average doctor's office. Right. This stuff is real. It's measurable. Mm -hmm. It is based on science and it is changing lives and it's doing it in a safe way. Uh, a relaxed way with no drugs, nothing harmful about it. It's truly right. the most exciting advancement that we have in healthcare right now on the planet. Wow, that is truly amazing. And, you know, and I understand the work that you're doing, right? And, and, and I'm asking about science because I love science. And, yeah. and a lot of times I back up things that I'm doing. I like to back it up by science. Okay, well, these yeah. are the studies. This is what it shows. This is right. the graph that's showing you from what they're able to record visually. Yep. And, and this is what it's displaying. So science, I, I love science. I, lo I love biology. I love all of that stuff. Now, what about when you have, uh, now I know that you say that this, uh, your methodology, it works. And what about for people who come to you, and I'm sure you've gotten this before, where people come to you and say, well, I've been to several doctors, mm -hmm. and no one can find what is wrong with me. Yeah. But you find out that the underlying cause has nothing to do with any uh, physical yep. issues with their health, but it has to do with past trauma that only manifested itself yes. in the physical body. Have you had any experiences with that? Oh my goodness. This is the million dollar question and issue. I have worked with literally tens of thousands of people like this. Mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. of the people that come to me, they first they went to conventional medicine. They yeah. took drugs, prescription drugs or surgery. They did everything they were told and nothing changed. So they get frustrated or they get addicted or they get all these side effects from the meds. So then they start looking for natural medicine. And many of them, are taking handfuls of supplements. They've eliminated all different types of foods. They've tried a number of different protocols and treatment plans to try to fix it or figure this out. Many people, nothing even shows up on a medical test. So they become so frustrated. By mm -hmm. the time they do that, and they've exhausted those options, they start seeking things out of the box. And that's when they end up on my doorstep. Right. And here's the thing, everything you just mentioned. So often it's the number one indicator that is living proof that everything starts out as subtle energy from the mind and the emotions, mm -hmm. and it shows up last in the physical body. And all these people that I've been able to help where nothing showed up on a test, I've been able to help thousands and thousands of people. And it's because they, they can't find it, first of all, with the equipment that they typically use. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the, what, what, the missing key here is that emotions emit a frequency, and these frequencies are measurable. And mm -hmm. I have seen these on the graphs, on the charts. Mm -hmm. uh, thoughts also emit energy as real as electricity. It's measurable. But when people are not aware of mm -hmm. how their thoughts and their emotions are creating negative, harmful, disturbance frequencies. They don't know right. that they're even doing it to themselves or they live in an mm -hmm. environment or they're around people or an environment that's very toxic to them. And so what's exactly. happening is they're unconsciously being affected and the frequencies are very disturbed and mm -hmm. they're not getting the help they need because they're going to the wrong equipment or the wrong form of diagnosis. Right. So I mm -hmm. can find it instantly. When I scan mm -hmm. someone's field, I feel these disturbances within seconds. And with or without the equipment measuring it, I can find and help these people. And that's what's so remarkable. And that's why people say to me, Deborah, I've tried everything. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm skeptical. Mm -hmm. I've tried everything and nothing's worked. Right. And my heart goes out to them because I know what that's like. But I also know that I have a, a new approach that is not common yet. And when they work with me, this is why so many people have said, finally, I finally 
got the solution. So mm -hmm. I've literally, Marsha, worked with people who for decades have been suffering. And within one, two, three sessions, they have a different life. They're sleeping, mm -hmm. they're eating, they're exercising again. They're not racked with pain awesome. from head to toe. It's so remarkable and so exciting to be able to offer this to people. That is really awesome. That is so amazing. And, you know, I want to ask you now, I'm going on to the topic of healthcare, um, yeah. because now, especially with this whole yeah. pandemic situation, yeah. I, I think many people uh, would say that they are taking or doing their best to try to make an attempt to really put their health first. Yeah. And since this is becoming such an important topic for because it affects everyone, mm -hmm. um, what would you say as far as now they are they're looking now they are realizing and looking that the common way of doing the traditional yes. way yes. of doing medicine has to change because it's not working and i'm not saying to do away with it altogether yes. right what i'm saying is they have to look at it and be open to look at other methods of integrative health, integrative uh, practices to that's going to help the patient uh, overall with their overall wellness. What are your thoughts on that uh, in the future? Yeah. No, you're, you're hitting the nail right on the head. You know, one of the gifts, if there is, of the pandemic is that people were mm -hmm. unable to get to the doctor. Now that sounds strange, but they became more open to virtual healing because they had to. And yeah. it forced so many people to try right. things that they normally would not have been exposed to. And they, when they get mm -hmm. results, mm -hmm. then they're willing, of course, to take the next step and the next and the next. People have been traumatized by what's been going on on the planet. And it's just, you know, yeah. it, it's just mind boggling what people have been forced in, to go through and, and the worry and the overwhelm and the anxious feeling stay and night. So what I would mm -hmm. say to all of this mm -hmm. is that you owe it to yourself to try something that's proven to be safe, that can't harm you in any way and won't require you to take pills, to have surgery or to change yeah. all the foods you love. You just owe it to yourself to explore what's out there because it really can help you. And mm -hmm. we're living in the age of energy. The, you know, this is, we're not gonna ever go backwards. We're actually, this is the future right here at our fingertips. Right. Right. And the minute we all got onto that internet for the first time and we, we connected to everybody out there, mm -hmm. that was the turning point. That was the day we entered the age of energy. We're living in a digital age mm -hmm. where absolutely we want it fast we want it now and we we don't want to leave our home for it and that's right. the beauty of working energetically right. and this is this is the time for this type of of healing and you know the key is that until now we've been focused on disease maintenance mm -hmm. i would not even call it healthcare mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. disease maintenance and I'm not against medicine. Mm -hmm. I grew, grew up in a medical right. family. I love doctors. I think there's a place right. for it. But if you really want to work on your health, you have to understand what health is. Mm -hmm. Health is energy. If yes. you don't have your energy, you have nothing. So right. you have to understand what's affecting my energy. What's depleting mm -hmm. it? What's giving me more energy and we have to not wait till there's a crisis where we have to cut it out or drug it out we want to stay on track in health and understand that health is our natural state if we're listening to the gps which we will get the clues from our feelings our thoughts mm -hmm and our mm -hmm. energy level so mm -hmm. all roads go back to energy no matter where you look it's not about symptom treatment. That's an old way right. of thinking that we need to put behind us and start right. to really take a new look at how to keep ourselves in alignment with what is best for us. Mm -hmm. I agree with you 100% on that. And uh, that's what I love. Uh, I think because if, if we stay in this box, so to speak, we stay with the traditional way, the right. old way of doing things, we really, we, what, what progress will we be making? 
Well, we have to be uh, to be able to understand that, like you said, that energy, right? And we know that everything is energy. And, and I know it's kind of hard for maybe some people to understand and, and to grasp. And, and if they were never taught certain things, it's like you rule it out. Well, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist and it's not real. We know that we breathe in air, yet we can't see it. But we know that, it's, that it exists because we breathe it. If there was no oxygen, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> so just because we don't see it doesn't exactly. mean it doesn't exist. So if people can just open and expand their minds a little exactly. bit and not be so conditioned to the old way of how we learn yeah. things, I think it would be so helpful and beneficial um, to everyone, really, to everyone. Absolutely. And you know, it wasn't that long ago where we didn't believe this thing either. Right. We, we have no wires now. We, right. we, we're we talking to people all over the world with, mm -hmm. with what? How does that work? It's no right. different. There's an invisible right. connection constantly going mm -hmm. on. And the invisible mm -hmm. realm is actually more real than the visible. We have yes. to recognize that's the precursor to everything physical. Mm -hmm. And this whole invisible realm, it's not woo-woo, it's not weird, it's physics. Right. Simple right. as that. Right, definitely. <laughs> I love it. So tell me now, what uh, what what other, I enjoyed our conversation so much. Um, tell us what, what upcoming events, anything that you're doing, how people can learn more to, to work with you, find out more, anything that you're doing, uh, share with us uh, some information on that. Thank you. I would love to invite everyone to come to my website and download a copy of my best-selling book, Why Do I Still Hurt? And this is a book I wrote for the people who were like, I've tried everything, Deborah. What is wrong with me? Am I cursed? What's wrong with me? This book is almost, it's more like right. a workbook and it will start to have a deeper conversation based on what Marsha and I are talking about today. And mm -hmm. if you go to the, in, not the, if you go to internationalcpi.com, right on the website, immediately you can download a copy to any device. Now, if you like to underline and dog ear, you'll have to go to Amazon, but you can get a free digital copy right at internationalcpi.com. You'll also see all the different ways that I work with people. I have programs for groups. I have digital uh, home study programs. I also have, I take a handful of one-on-one -on -one clients that are urgent cases that really need all my eyes and ears on them and them alone. There's, mm -hmm. there's something for everyone. There's videos, there's free material, there's something for everyone. So please go yeah. to the website, check it all out. Uh, you can email questions and my team and I will respond to every single email. We want to help you. We want to show you this is not weird. It's real. <laughs> and we're there for you in a way that you may not find anywhere else. So please reach out to us. And Marsha, again, thank you enough for helping me get the thank word you. out. I know you get it. I, I get it. I, <laughs> I honestly get it. <laughs> I really do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Deborah. I really appreciate you being a guest on the show. Thank, uh, you. thank you so much. My true Listen, pleasure. If you haven't visit, visit her, go to her website, check out her page. Her, your links, everything will be in the subscription uh, beneath the podcast uh, broadcast. We'll have everything for you. Reach out to her. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marsha. Bye, everyone.